Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pooja Jhauri and uh, today we are going to start up a very interesting topic in biochemistry, cholesterol. Now this cholesterol is a part of lipid metabolism. All of you are familiar with cholesterol. What is it? Sterol means obviously it is having an alcohol, right? So how do we define cholesterol? It has 27 carbon atoms, 45 hydrogen atoms. This is the molecular formula of cholesterol and it is a very, very important animal sterol. We know that we take it in the diet and the most interesting part about cholesterol is that it is synthesized also in the body. So biosynthesis of cholesterol takes place by a very interesting process de novo because we are again synthesizing cholesterol from acetyl coenzyme A which has two carbon atoms to cholesterol which has 27 carbon atoms. So this is how synthesis of cholesterol takes place. Then this cholesterol if we talk about its transport being a animal sterol if we talk about its transport 70% of cholesterol moves in a esterified form, means in the form of a ester and 30% moves in a free form, right? Now see how it is converted into here, how it moves this cholesterol combines with a very important phospholipid which is known as a lecithin to form its esterified transportable form which is known as cholesteryl ester and lysolecithin. The name of the enzyme responsible for this synthesis is LCAT which stands for lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase. Lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase or commonly it is known as LCAT enzyme which is required for the synthesis of cholesterol ester and lysolecithin. So this is the transportable form of cholesterol. Now, what is the clinical significance of this enzyme? It's a very, very important enzyme because it is present in the plasma, it is present in the tissues also. This is LCAT, it is also known as ACAT, which is acyl, simple cholesterol acyl transferase, depending upon its occurrence, whether it is in the plasma, whether it is in the tissues. Now, what is the clinical significance? Clinical significance is simple if this enzyme is absent. Absence of LCAT will lead to what? It will lead to Norum's disease. So we can say that Norum's disease is due to the absence of LCAT and what are the clinical features? There will be increased concentration of cholesterol leading to hypercholesterolinemia and decreased concentration of cholesterol ester. Right? So this is the clinical significance of this LCAT enzyme and this is how cholesterol moves in a transportable form. Now coming over to the biosynthesis of this. Now because I told you it is synthesized by de novo pathway. De novo means the precursor is acetyl coenzyme A which forms this cholesterol. So how the synthesis takes place? First of all it takes place in the cytosolic fraction.
of the liver right so how the synthesis takes place one molecule of acetyl coenzyme a combines with one more molecule of acetyl coenzyme a forming acetoacetyl coa right this acetoacetyl coa combines with one more molecule of acetyl coenzyme a to form hmg coa the name of the enzyme here is since it is synthesis of hmg coa the enzyme has to be hmg coa synthase because no involvement of atp is there and the full form of this is beta hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl coa now this hmg coa undergoes reduction so obviously if it is undergoing reduction the enzyme has to be hmg coa reductase and this forms the first important intermediate in the synthesis of cholesterol which is mevalonate so we can say that acetyl coenzyme a forms acetoacetyl coa which forms hmg coa and this hmg coa undergoes reduction to form mevalonate which will undergo again three phosphorylation reactions and then it is going to form isoprenoid units then it is going to form squalene then finally it is going to form cholesterol so this is how the synthesis of cholesterol is there because this cholesterol has a characteristic nucleus which we call as cyclopentano perhydro phenanthrene nucleus ab again what all you have to remember in biochemistry site site is clear it occurs in the cytosolic fraction of the liver now the most important one is that which is the rate limiting enzyme in the synthesis of cholesterol so the rate limiting enzyme which is very very important it is hmg coa reductase HMG coa reductase is the rate limiting enzyme in cholesterol biosynthesis which means that it undergoes simple feedback inhibition and how do we define feedback inhibition increased concentration of cholesterol starts inhibiting its own production by acting on this enzyme okay so whenever the production of cholesterol increases it starts inhibiting its own production at its level and if we talk about the competitive inhibitor of hmg coa reductase this is again a very very important one statins be it, be it lova statin be it atorva statin they are competitive inhibitors of very very important this enzyme statins are the competitive inhibitors of hmg coa reductase this is a very important point about cholesterol biosynthesis right now this is the synthesis what is the importance of cholesterol we know that cholesterol is a very very important precursor of so many important compounds in the body now what are the important yeah you can say what is the fate of cholesterol in the body right 
this cholesterol is required for the synthesis of vitamin D which is also a sunshine vitamin and you can say 7 D hydrocholesterol is required which in the presence of the UV rays of the sun forms vitamin D. Then this cholesterol is a precursor of so many sex hormones also and the most important function of this cholesterol is that it is required for the synthesis of bile acids, primary bile acids and secondary bile acids. Now what you have to remember in this is you have to again remember the rate limiting enzyme because if you look at the synthesis of bile acids it is very complicated. So the enzyme rate limiting enzyme for this is 7 alpha hydroxylase which is the rate limiting enzyme of the synthesis of these bile acids and what is the function of these bile acids? These bile acids helps in emulsification of fats, right? So these are the important points about cholesterol, how cholesterol is synthesized and what is the fate of cholesterol in the body. And cholesterol, there are so many ways of detecting cholesterol like Liverman burkhardt reaction is there, then Zach's reaction is there and Salkovsky reactions are there. Right? So these are the, you can say reagents to detect cholesterol. So this is all about the synthesis and degradation of cholesterol. Thank you.